interviewed hundreds of players, managers, celebrities, and other assorted personalities. What follows are three of his favorites, beginning with the 1986 interview with White was being suggested at the time as a possible replacement for retiring National League President Chubb Feeney. Why do you look at it this way, although you may not be looking for a career change, if A. Bartlett Giamatti takes the job to head up the National Well, you're trying to be funny now, more. I don't think that's funny at all. Okay. Whitey and Hal, thanks for coming on. All right, I got the idea Whitey will not be making any more appearances on our pregame show. Now, the other night, you hit a home run in Boston. The crowd called for a curtain call. Ellis Burks took the, uh, took the curtain. <laughs> when I, I'm the DH, normally when I get a base or whatever, I shake everyone's hand, I go down and look at my films. And of course, uh, I think, uh, what you're doing right now, you're trying to bring about a negative point. And that's not a good thing to do. I feel like that now, even though I'm on national TV, you're trying to hurt me even worse. And I don't think it's fair. I'm, I think I'm just bringing up uh, facts, uh, things that happen to give you a vehicle to answer and, and give reasons. Well, I think that's all in the past, and still that's a little negative uh, to me. I <laughs> pitches, but there was one incident two years ago in Houston. Here's my side of it. Go ahead. Uh, you bounced the ball. <laughs> well, what happened? So I broke a little. I'm afraid it happened in a Mets stadium, too. Just ran out of gas somewhere along the line. I love it. I'm the Walter Mitty. I just absolutely love walking out to that. But, uh, but it didn't, you know, last year, it didn't work that way. We were in Cincinnati, the all-star game. And there I had a good gimmick, though. They had two little kids. There was going to be three of us go out. One of them was a little strapping looking little guy, about 12, and me. And they said, okay, now first these kids will go out, and then you go out. Uh, so I said to the kids, let's walk out together. My feeling being politician running for president, yes. And it worked. It was brilliant. So we all walked out and I asked the little girl, are you nervous? Yeah, I'm a little nervous. So it worked out. I'm going to try to think of the next year. Mr. President, I appreciate it very much. Thank oh, you. Marv, I love talking about baseball. President George Bush, as you can see, tremendous baseball fan, and I know he will appreciate what is up next, a trip through 42 years of baseball coverage here on NBC. Right. I feel deep, right? Well, I doubt it. It's a long one. Deep in the left center. Back for Jared Fredo. He makes a one-handed catch against the bullpen. Well, the Mets have won the World Series in 1984. And our baseball memories become part of our personal history. What follows is a